everyone in this video i am going to explain you the module 2 from research and publication ethics this is again uh, an important module in research and publication ethics and those who are preparing for the rpe course exam this uh, video is definitely going to benefit them okay the first topic is ethics with respect to science and research so what is ethics uh, or what are what are ethics principle or what, what is uh, the role of ethics in uh, the scientific research Research. the main important thing in this subject you need to remember is the terminology see while writing the exam you don't need to write the accurate answer because this is a theoretical subject where you cannot accurately write each and every fact of the concept okay so what you have to do important terminologies you have to remember uh, and that term terminologies when you write in the answers please underline them okay, okay highlight them okay so that the evaluator will get an impression that uh, you are in the scope of the answer or you are explaining all the facts that is required for the answer okay especially in theoretical subjects we need to like organize the answer in a well versed way organizing means if there are no diagrams you can do something like underlining the terminologies that are uh, important terminologies that is related closely related to the answer that, that justifies uh, the answer okay so this is the main thing so let us start uh, with uh, the ethics with respect to science and research so ethic is nothing but ethics in research is nothing but norms for control that distinguishes between acceptable, acceptable and unacceptable behavior. The term research ethics refers to a wide variety of values, norms and institutional arrangements that help constitute and regulate scientific activities. So research ethics is a codification of scientific morality in practice. Okay, so there are three different perspectives of ethics in research. Those are disposition, duty and utilitarian. So disposition means it is an inherent present it is an inherent uh, characteristics of an individual who disposes it uh, while doing uh, uh, research okay it is an inherent property of an individual a uh, moral virtue are inherently present okay in an individual who is currently engaged in the research duty is the way of carrying out uh, the research that is the way uh, the duty is an act in a way that upholds the value you are carrying out the research means you have to like a whole so duty is nothing but act it's a one's duty to act in a way that upholds value utilitarian is nothing but the benefits uh, uh, the stakeholders are going to get uh, uh, from your research okay so relates to the principles of ethical conduct uh, that benefits the majority of st stakeholders so this becomes really important to remember the three different perspectives on ethics you will not be asked a small answer so you can be uh, like uh, thinking thinking of uh, adding these points uh, when you whenever you write an answer or uh, that is ethical values in research or ethical principles in research objectives of research ethics protect human participants ensure research is conducted in such a way that it serves the interest of all stakeholders society at large examine research activities for ethical soundness so how important are ethical values or ethical norms in research it's very important because ethical values or ethical norms promotes the aim of research such as knowledge acquisition truth and avoidance of error for example prohibition against fabricating falsifying or misrepresenting research data promotes the truth and minimizes error also uh, it uh, makes the collaborative work that is uh, since research often involves a great deal of cooperation coordination among uh, different fields different domains different technologies so it promotes the value that are essential for uh, collaborative work uh, such as uh, the trust between the collaboration accountability in the collaboration collaboration, mutual respect and fairness. Ethical norms must ensure that the researchers are held ex oh, sorry, accountable to the public. As your research is going to contribute to the society welfare, so it's accountable to the public and also in the fourth point it is given that public support for research. 
Your research is accountable to the public. In turn, public should support if there is some data required from public for your research. So public must support for uh, that thing. Okay. So ethical norms in research should also help to build public support for research. So lastly, we have promote a variety of other important moral and social values. such as social responsibility human rights animal welfare compliance with law and public health and safety so next we are moving on to the most important topic the repeatedly asked question on ethical principles so they have given here an uh, 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 like a shortcut so that you can remember all the points because there are more than 10 points that you need to terminologies that you need to rem- so how to easily remember is using a shortcut uh, like hoy kotla i c triple r hoy kotla i c triple r if you remember this you could able to fetch maximum number of terminologies okay so because there are so many this question will be asked for 10 marks so you need to remember all of those to get those 10 marks so let us start the first ethical principle is the honest Yes, honesty is a must in research and publications. That is, you should not fabricate, falsify, or misrepresent data. Do not deceive colleagues, research sponsors, or the public. Objectivity. Stick to your objective. Strive to avoid bias in experimental design. Don't do manipulation to get your desired results. Yes, disclose personal or financial interest may affect the research. integrity keep your promises and agreements act with the sincerity strive for consistency carefulness avoid careless errors and negligence because your research is important to the public and society if you do uh, not care for the results in your research it may affect you uh, to the society in some other way openness be open to criticism because criticism will teach you something based on which you can improvise transparency research should be transparent that is disclose methods material assumption analyze analysis and other information needed to evaluate your research accountability take responsibility for your research intellectual property honor patents copyrights and other forms of intellectual property confidentiality protect confidential communications such as papers or grants submitted for publication personal records so the triple r thing in that shortcut thing is responsible publication responsible mentoring and respect for colleagues next we have social responsibility to promote social good and prevent or mitigate social harms non discrimination not related to scientific competence and integrity next we have competence that is uh, maintain and improve your own professional competence and expertise through lifelong uh, lifelong education and learning legality no and obey relevant laws government laws institutional or organizational laws animal care this is like statutory warning that you can see in the some of the movies no, no animal is hurt in this uh, movie so some is uh, something like that if your research involves animals you should uh, take care of that human subject protection so another important uh, two questions that uh, we can uh, like expect from this particular section that is intellectual honesty and research integrity both can be asked for 10 marks or individual uh, concept that is intellectual honesty can be asked for 10 and research integrity can be asked for 10 so let us start with the intellectual honesty okay so this is nothing but researchers have a moral duty to be honest that is you should not fabricate falsify the research intellectual honesty is honesty in acquisition position analysis and transmission of idea so this is a very uh, easy definition that you can remember see whenever you carry out a research you uh, acqu- do acquisition that is you collect data you analyze it and next you transmit the data into information that is uh, the main important like uh, the concept in the research so intellectual honesty comes with that definition that is there should be honesty in what honesty in acquisition analysis and transmission of idea okay so this will be a definition for intellectual honesty intellectual honesty is applied method of problem solving characterized by an unbiased honest attitude which can be demonstrated in number of different ways including that is you need to ensure support for the chosen ideologies that does not interfere with the pursuit of truth okay should not uh, manipulate the truth relevant facts and information are not purposely omitted if something is important you should not omit it and even when such things may contradict one's hypothesis see something is important and it is contradicting to your research uh, you should not uh, purpose is limited okay so facts are presented in an unbiased manner no biasing no selfishness and the twisted to give misleading impression okay so this is again related to the falsification 
References uh, or earlier work are acknowledged where possible plagiarism is avoided. So this is must needed. See, plagiarism is such keyword in this whole subject that you can use uh, falsification, fabrication, misrepresenting. So these are some of the terminologies that you must use and highlight in your answer. So next, uh, 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 intellectual uh, honesty is exhibited at individual level and at the um, public uh, level. Okay, not public level, publisher level. Sorry, publisher level. So this is uh, what uh, the thing. So you have to do uh, or uh, divide your answer into two things. That is intellectual. Uh, honesty with respect to individual and intellectual honesty with respect to publisher intellectual honesty at individual level research should be based on originality and innovation accuracy in representing contribution protect identity of respondent due acknowledgement of web-based resources no to plagiarism citing all the related papers including those submitted but not accepted revealing conflict of interest or potential ones avoid duplicate publication avoid guest ghost and gift authorship adapt best practices recommended by cope respect intellectual property be honest and objective while submission all communication between author and journal should be treated as confidential see you may not uh, like uh, you may not able to remember all these facts as it is so you can like make a story kind of thing like it should not it should start with the research should start start with the when it, whenever it comes to like intellectual honesty it should start with the originality uh, originality in uh, uh, innovation novelness in innovation uh, there should be uh, accuracy you should uh, you should acknowledge everything and no plagiarism is there and whatever the reference you have taken you have, you have to cite uh, revealing conflict of interest uh, avoid duplicate thing avoid guest coast and uh, gift authorship uh, and adopt best practices see if you like take it as an uh, like script kind of thing or a story kind of thing you can easily make up uh, like the points while uh, writing in the exam so coming to the intellectual honesty with the publisher level like uh, you know, the publisher must adhere to the ethical practices uh, also reveal conflict of interest treat all the information in the article as confidential be vigilant in spotting ethical misconduct motive is building better society not commercial purpose avoid predatory or bogus journals so publishers responsibilities are there you can again remember it as a script uh, starting from the ethical practices uh, till bogus journals coming to the next important part of the concept that is research integrity again this question will be asked for 10 marks separately or it can be combined with the intellectual honesty so research integrity may be defined as active adherence to the ethical principles and professional standards so research integrity should be adhered to the ethical principles ethical principles that we have studied uh, recently in this uh, or in the beginning of the video this ethical principle it must be adhered to the ethical principle and professional standards see do remember this kind of terminologies and use it in your definition otherwise if you write it in your own words the evaluator may think you have written something blah 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 and he may give you so, so or less marks so try to remember the terminologies okay so Research integrity is nothing but uh, is, uh, may be defined as an active adherence to the ethical principles and professional standards essential for responsible practice of research. Okay, so by active adherence we mean adoption of the principles uh, and practices as a personal credo, not simply accepting them as impositions by rule makers. So by ethical principles we mean honesty, trustworthiness high regard for the scientific record okay so this is the most important thing that you must cover and other another important point is research integrity means conducting research according to highest professional and ethical standards okay so there in the answer in the earlier part of the answer we have observed uh, ethical principles and professional standards see uh, that you can again you can take it as an highest professional and ethical standards okay so this is how you can uh, somehow uh, use the synonymically like meaningfully uh, each terminology and you can expand it that is not wrong but you are expanding your answers okay it concerns the behavior of researcher at all stages of the research life cycle including declaring competing interest data collection and data management using appropriate methodology okay so these are the three things uh, that comes under that declaring competing interest data collection and the data management and using appropriate methodology drawing conclusions from results writing of research findings
ओके नेक्स्ट रिसर्च इंटीग्रिटी कैन बी कंफ्यूज विद अ रिसर्च एथिक्स एंड पब्लिशिंग एथिक्स ओके यस दिस इज अगेन एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग ऑल दो दीज टर्म्स आर कनेक्टेड देर आर डिफरेंसेस रिसर्च एथिक्स इज स्पेसिफिकली कंसर्न विद एथिकल इश्यूज विच मे अराइज वेन कंडक्टिंग रिसर्च इन्वॉल्विंग एनिमल्स और ह्यूमन सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर इंडिविजुअल्स रिसर्च इंटीग्रिटी इज एन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ मॉरल कैरेक्टर एंड एक्सपीरियंस okay it involves above all a commitment to intellectual honesty <clears throat> and personal responsibility for one's action and to a range of practices that characterizes responsible research conduct okay so again uh, the, you have got uh, research integrity at two levels one is at the individual level and at the institutional level okay so this is a main difference intellectual honesty is at the individual level and at the publisher level but uh, the research integrity is at the individual level and institutional level okay so integrity at institutional uh, sorry individual level so you should exhibit honesty and fairness accuracy and fairness and proficiency and fairness okay so honesty accuracy and proficiency we should exhibit okay these are the main uh, what uh, professional standards or uh, ethical standards that you exhibit in the research next collegiality is uh, in scientific interaction communication collegiality means this nothing but communication between individuals or collaboration kind of thing okay disclosure of conflicts of interest see conflict of interest in every kind of thing it comes okay uh like sharing of ideas you are doing some mother's work or you you are enhancing some other works or you are you are referring the uh, some of the copyrighted material in your paper or in your, in your uh, research you need to uh, like mention or cite the, them and you need to like inform them like you are they, you are using their material and uh, uh, like you should resolve that conflict so, so that whenever paper is published whenever research is published uh, nobody should come and like uh, like sue you or make a case on you okay protection of human subjects in the conduct of research human care of animals in the conduct of research adherence to the mutual responsibility of mentors and trainees while uh, science encourages the uh, vigorous defense of one's ideas and work ultimately research integrity means examining the data with objectivity and being guided by the results rather than by uh, Uh, pro convinced notions so coming to the integrity at institutional level provide leadership encourage respect for everyone promote productive interactions adherence to rules anticipate uh, reveal and manage individual and institutional conflict of interest adherence to rule based mechanism timely and thorough investigation and appropriate administrative actions in the relation to the scientific misconduct offer educational opportunities in promoting integrity monitor and evaluate the ecosystem for continuous quality improvement so So this is the what all the facts that you have to cover in the answer for research integrity. So this is a part one video of the module two of the RP. Second part I will uh, post. Uh, I will like publish in on my channel uh, uh, in a short time. Okay. So till then take care. Bye bye and uh, uh, prepare well for your exam. All the best for your exam. Do share this video among your friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye and also subscribe my channel.